is that? <laughs> you serious? Get this bitch rolling. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. Man, my butt is swollen. Keep a healthy Raw hide. <laughs> what the fuck? On the Brad and Lucy show, we do lots of dad jokes and bad jokes. He does, not me. So, funny fact, we're doing a comedy comedian guy called Mickey Flanagan. Flanagan. Flanagan was my dad's swear word growing up. He wouldn't use the F word, but he would always say Flanagan when he was swearing. He still says it. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, he'd always, he'd get mad and be like, jumping Flanagan arsehole. That was his big... <laughs> No offense to any Flanagans out there, by the way. <laughs> oh, God. Anyhow, that just reminded me of that. So we're doing Mickey Flanagan. Flanagan. And uh, apparently he's... <laughs> he's very funny. What? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Somebody sent me this link anyway, so... Mm -hmm. um, they said it was about a deli belly or something. And I have no idea what that means. Deli belly. Yeah. Deli belly. Okay. So let's find out. We've never seen Mickey Flanagan before. No, that's Jelly Belly. <laughs> We've never seen Mickey Flanagan before, so here we go. You ready? Three, two, one. There's only one place I'll go on a regular basis, Spain. Now, Spain is lovely because we turned up in the mid-70s and we conquered the Spanish. <laughs> we said we like it here, but we want a couple of changes. <laughs> Because there's no bingo in the evening. <laughs> the cabaret's not very good. And we're struggling to get a roast on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a fear, wasn't there, the of to Spain? A massive fear, an overwhelming fear. And I'll tell you what it was. The shits. <laughs> <laughs> the fear of the shits was monumental. <laughs> You'd say to people, we're going to Benidorm next year. They go, oh. <laughs> You'll get the shits. <laughs> and you'd have to justify it and say, well, at least you can rely on the weather. <laughs> but you go to Spain, get the shits, have a nice time, come back. <laughs> Over the last 30 odd years, the shits has largely disappeared from this experience. You don't, you don't get the shits. You come home, you come home unscathed. You've got to go more long haul now if you want to get the shits. <laughs> Go more international. <laughs> this time last year, I was invited to India to Mumbai for the Mumbai. opening weekend of the comedy store in India. Now, the way I turned up, they pulled me to one side. They said, "Listen, Mick, we've got a thing here called Delhi Belly. It's a bit tasty. <laughs> if you get it, you'll be banging trouble. <laughs> so don't have ice in your drinks. Leave the salads alone. Be careful." I said, "You're all right. I've been going to Spain for 30 years." <laughs> Covered. <laughs> so, I'm having ice in my drinks. I'm having the salads. I'm washing in a ditch. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> so, day three, 10 30 at night. After the show, I looked at me mate Paul. I said, Paul, I don't feel right, mate. I'm a very regular man. I go in the morning. <laughs> so I turn at night and I feel like I need to go. <laughs> he said, well, why don't you go? I said, no, I'm going to go. <laughs> and I went to the toilet. And with the gentlest of pushes. <laughs> the world fell out of my arms. <laughs> is terrifying. <laughs> You're wondering where it all comes from. You start to panic. You think I'm going to empty. I'm going to end up a costume of a man. They're going to find me hung on the back of the door. <laughs> I'm going to me, mate, Paul, a bit panicky. Genuinely scared. I said, Paul, this stuff's coming out of me. All this dirty water. 
it? I said, have you ever emptied an old radiator? <laughs> That's the consistency we're looking at. <laughs> he said, oh, it can't be that bad. He said, come and have a light out. What's the matter with you? Come. I said, I can't. I said, I've got about five seconds between I think I'm going to shit myself and when I will. I said, this ain't no disco, man. This ain't no fooling around. Oh my God, and it was funny. rather unsympathetic, if you don't mind me saying. <laughs> but a couple of days later, he phoned me up, room to room. About half past nine in the morning, sounding a little bit upset. He said, Mickey, I think I've got them. <laughs> I said, go on then, how bad is it? He said, put it this way. I've just farted. <laughs> and some of it sprayed on me pillar. A bit like the Kennedy assassination. <laughs> no, they could never work out how that bullet ended up where it did. I said, Jimmy, you got shit on your pillow. <laughs> I don't know how it ended up there. Oh my god. Could you imagine? <laughs> that, that was good. He's, he's funny. He's funny. Oh, that's hilarious, yeah. He must be English then. Oh, is it English? Okay, yeah, I was like, how oh, is he Irish? Like, no, I think it was English, yeah. Okay, maybe, yeah. Oh my god, I haven't heard of him. Yeah, that was funny. Oh god. Yeah. Well, it's the dreaded shits. Why, why is it that shits and farts are always funny? Like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still alive, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's, it seemed like we went through a stretch where about four comedians we watched were all past, and it's like... Like, oh my god, that's What's it. What's going on with all of our funny people here? Mm. Okay, so don't die. <laughs> Just because I said that. Don't fucking die. Yeah, that's right. All right, so send us yeah. some more. Mickey Flanagan. And let us know what's funny. Oh, what Flanagan. Isn't. Yeah, and I'll send it to my dad. <laughs> hey, dad. Your Flanagan's come back to bite you in the arse. <laughs> oh, god. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to you guys soon.